Virgo, what's going on with you? I hope you guys are having a lovely one. This is going to be a weekly reading from the 15th through the 21st. What's going on with you guys in your love life? Let's get straight into it, Virgo. <clears throat> oh, well, don't tell me that this is a this is an omen. Or was it a slip up? Was it an omen or was it my slip up? We're going to find out right now what's going on with Virgo around the proximity of the 15th through the 21st. What's going on with Virgo in their love life? Around the proximity of the 15th through the 21st. What's going on with Virgo? All right. <clears throat> okay. It seems as if it was a positive omen and not my slip up after all. Look at that shit, man. We both cards, uh, first cards out of the deck. Bam, Mr. and Mrs. Love. Go figure, man. Go figure. Now, Virgo, flat out, this is what I'm seeing here. <clears throat> this is very vague, but it seems as if the masculine in the relationship is being conflicting. We're gonna, we're gonna see what's up, why that is here in just a moment. Nevertheless, Virgo, what I'm seeing here is that there's some sort of anticipation on your end. So you may be, you may be a bit hesitant on expressing yourself. Okay, after a period of feeling abandonment, you find yourself in a place of respite, taking a break, trying to collect yourself, anticipating some sort of action, some sort of expression from your partner. <clears throat> And I only see this extending into the future. So is communication going to take place or not? I see that it is. All right. I see that the person that you are dealing with is going to come forth and bring about, you know, some sort of energy here that that is that has the motive of bringing something prosperous to the relationship. However, small or big it is, it's it's an effort. OK, it's an increment of efforts all right but virgo i don't see you buying into it i don't see you buying into it virgo i don't see you buying into it look i flat out this is what i'm getting this is going to be a quick reading guys all right i don't think that virgo is satisfied with the relationship they're not satisfied with what is being offered all right look at virgo is appearing as the king of coins. Virgo's potential suitor is appearing as the little page of coins. This is a goddamn breadcrumb to a king. <clears throat> a king wants a queen, not a child. Right? What is it that you're wanting? What is it that you're wanting? An apology, maybe? What is it that you're wanting? All right, you're wanting you're wanting this individual to clear the air regarding something that remains hidden and obscure, something that could be surrounded by deceit, or at least makes you feel as if you've been deceited. Is that even a word? Deceited? As if you've been cheated or not? You know, I don't mean like a third party situation. But like, as in a relationship, you know, sometimes we we can feel as if our partner did not do us right, you know, by taking some sort of action against us. But nevertheless, guys, look, this is what I'm seeing here. Virgo's not buying what's at stake. All right. They're not happy with what's being offered. They want more, which is a good sign, Crosswatcher. That indicates that they are interested that they are open. They just simply want more. They want more. Man, I feel like I should get pull advice for the cross watcher. <clears throat> God damn. I feel like I should pull advice for the cross watcher. But no, this is Virgo's reading. This is not. So Virgo, we're gonna align you with what it is that you want. Well, Virgo, I guess Virgo wants. <laughs> Virgo wants more. Virgo wants more. <clears throat> Tell me here, what's on your mind, Virgo? What's on your mind? What's on your mind, yeah? 
Deliberation. Okay. Contemplation. Choices of what? Regarding what? Tell me. Mm, fuck. You're stuck. This is overwhelming to you. This incites self-imposed misery. All right. You're kind of inclined to give attention to the relationship, to the connection, but simultaneously you are stuck. That is what you're contemplating. All right. Virgo, look. I feel that you are heavily focused on some very pessimistic pessimistic thoughts regarding this relationship. You may have your reason. Maybe something horrendous occur occurred and... You know, you have your reasons for thinking the way you are. I mean, for thinking the way you are. <laughs> yeah, for thinking the way you are thinking. And and with that said, guys, the focus on the negativity is keeping you from actually stepping into this very decisive, action-oriented person. All right? That's what I'm saying here. <clears throat> now, what is the advice for Virgo? What is the advice for Virgo in this matter? I just see Virgo isolating themselves, okay? But I still see them there. I'm going to tell you straight up. That's what I see here in the outcome. It's like you're isolating yourself. So if this relationship, if you find yourself in, a, in some sort of... If your love life is dull, Virgo, it's only going to get more dull, all right? And you're going to remain there is what I'm seeing, okay? That is what I'm seeing. It's like, it's going to get more dope, but you're still going to be there. It's like you got a fucking ball and chain to you. You don't, but it's you're acting as if, all right? <clears throat> you're acting as if. There isn't a lot of, uh, like I mentioned, action here. Virgo, you're the king. You're the king. If you're a woman, you're the queen, all right? You're the shot caller. You're the shot caller, and yet you remain where you are. You remain where you are. What is the advice for Virgo in this manner that will align them with the highest good? What is the advice? <clears throat> you really got to take a step back, Virgo, and really give thought to the situation that you are investing yourself into. I feel that there's a lot of emotional turbulence that you're experiencing you may not be experiencing emotional turbulence but there's a lot of emotional tumultuousness within you that may be clouding your perception your clarity in regards to this relationship okay i want to reiterate what i just previously mentioned that was there's a, some heavy thinking regarding pessimistic thoughts when it comes down to this relationship and that is stealing your mojo that is stealing your ability to fucking take action all right that is stealing your the fire within you all right you're only becoming dull by focusing your energy on lack of contentment in the relationship you can transform the relationship you don't think yourself powerful enough to be able to influence this puny page to your liking? If not, I advise you to read the book of Robert Greene titled The Laws of Human Nature. All right? <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, you are the king and queen, Virgo. I have nothing to tell you. I have nothing to tell you other than to you got to take a step back and really contemplate what it is that you're going through. Get rid of the cloudedness of emotions that are that are really skewing your perception, that are skewing your per, the perception about yourself, the perception about the relationship. All right. That are building paradigms, mental paradigms and thought processes that are essentially just establishing as neurological patterns in your head. That needs to be re-evaluated, ladies and gentlemen. And no one's going to do that but you. So take a chill pill. Take a chill pill. Spend time with yourself. You see, the hangman appears upside down. But in reality, he is upright. 
His feet are upon the heavens, while all the fucking little muggles are running around earth thinking this man to be a fool. He sees the world upright. He sees everybody lost on earth wandering around. This is the card of enlightenment. Look at the paradox here and the reflection of the water. All right, do not be fooled by appearances, ladies and gentlemen. My point is here, the knowledge encoded in this card for you is to really give thought to this and see things clearly, see things upright because you're not. You're seeing things upside down. All right. I'm going to take this to the extended Virgo and I'm going to bore into this individual. So if this was your reading, let's go look at this individual, see what they got going on and what they're projecting towards you. All right. Otherwise, I will see you guys soon.